we look at the environmental impacts of a development project. So in that EIE, there is a section of a health chapter called Health Impact Assessment, which at the moment is very limited. It's like a, a very small component of the EIE. The EIE is uh, well regulated. Well, it has to be complied by almost all countries in the world and all like, projects in ADB are doing that, but not yet on health impact assessment. We are supposed to be having projects that have healthy designs. That means they do not have results of more diseases or more illnesses for workers or for communities. Because ADB has this huge infrastructure portfolio and that's really our bread and butter, it would make sense for us to work on health and infrastructure project and to strengthen health impact assessment. And this is also particularly important for infrastructure and development projects in malaria endemic areas or in areas where there are other communicable diseases. If you don't look at the health impacts at the planning stage or design stage, later on you would end up having increased diseases and illnesses to the workers and the communities. And that will transfer that cost to the health sector. More people go into the hospitals, more medications, loss of productivity and so forth. EIE component in the EIE robots is very little so that it cannot support the decision making process so that to enhance and to extend the role of health impact assessment. The future of HIE in Myanmar is very exciting and very interesting. We are developing the national HIE guideline in Myanmar. So after this, we will cooperate with the environmental conservation law, which is under MORAC. And then uh, the next time, next step is for the development project to do the HIE before they really started that. So I think that will be beneficial for the country as well as for the population in Myanmar. We have our uh, projects that have, for example, a rapid environmental assessment and they have different kinds of checklists and we are now adding into that checklist a question, is this project site where you're going to put the project a malaria hotspot? So now it will force the project officer to look at the map, WHO map or otherwise the country map whether the project is located in a malaria endemic area so that they could avoid putting it in the site or is it close to an endemic area or there is also this monitoring of whether there's malaria coming in because of the project because of the mobile and migrant population that are being brought in as workers. Mm -hmm.